in this video we will be learning about remove method and count method remove method removes the first matching element which is passed as an argument from the list and remove does not return any value so let's make an animal list and uh, let's say we add monkey dog okay and let's say rabbit and guinea pig okay so these are four animals so let's remove ra anim uh, rabbit from animals okay remove and let's say rabbit okay so let's print the updated animals list so let's print so you can see here rabbit has been removed so let's see remove method on the list having duplicate element so let's uh, copy the above animal list and let's paste it and i am going to put dog once again okay so there are two dogs in the list and let's say animals dot remove and i am going to remove dogs okay so let's see what is been removed from animals so you can see only one dog is removed okay so let's see the uh, let's remove something which is not there okay so let's say animals dot let's say we will remove fish okay fish is not there so let's remove fish and print animals so you can see here there is a value error because uh, the element which we are searching is not in the list so if you want to delete element based on index like the fourth element you can use the list pop method okay or you can use the python delete statement to remove the item from the list so now let us see the count method before that let me comment this line otherwise there will be an error okay so let me put uh, one more comment count method okay so what this count method does it returns the number of times the specified element appears in the list and the count method returns the number of times element appear in the list okay so let's make a vowel vowel okay so this vowel will contain the vowels a e i and o and let's say u so this is our vowels list so let's see the count count equals uh, vowel dot count of let's say i okay so let's print the count so you can see the count is saying as one so let's see the count of p okay p is not there again we will see it what will happen if we put vowels dot count of p okay so there will be no error but it will just print zero okay count so let's see so it is printing zero similarly let's count tuple and list element inside a list okay so let me put some enter so that you can see it clearly so let me put a random list a random list is equal to let me put a, a and let me put a tuple and let's say a and uh, b in the tuple okay and again one more tuple a and b okay so similarly let me add one more list inside it three and four so this is our random list so let's see the count of let's say random dot count okay and let's see the count of a and b a and b okay so let's print the count to see the number of times this occurs so you can see two times okay so similarly let's see the count of the three and four okay random dot count and let's see the count of three and four okay so let's print the count okay so here you can see the count of three and four is one 